Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss this paper. FIFO queues are all you need for cash eviction. It was presented at SOSP 2023. Uh, yeah. So what a cash should be? It should be efficient. It should be performant, scalable, simple, and probably also flash friendly. Cash eviction dictates all of these expectations or properties. What is the general belief? It's believed that LRU is more efficient than FIFO. But what are the issues with LRU cash? You have to maintain two pointers per object. It adds to storage overhead. Every cache hit needs a lock protection because you promote the object uh, in the cache. And it's also not flash, friend, flash friendly because it tends to have a lot of random writes. So this scale comes at an efficiency cost. Why LRU cache is considered more efficient than FIFO? Because of temporal locality. Mostly recently, uh, most recently used will be kind of, uh, tends to be accessed again. So what's the benefit of FIFO? FIFO is considered simpler, scalable, but it's less efficient than LRU cache. So this, the goal of this paper is to make it more efficient or remove this less efficient compared to LRU cache while keeping the other properties of FIFO. So they come up with simple scalable eviction with three static FIFO queues termed as S3 FIFO. What are the contributions? <clears throat> so they say that quick demotion is not new, but previous works that were there targeted scans, streaming workloads, hierarchical caches only, and they came up with a FIFO algorithm, which is more efficient than the state of the uh, state of the art algorithms that generally are LRU based. So what's the observation to come up with improving this efficiency metric? So they call something as one hit wonder ratio. So what are one, one hit wonders? So one hit wonder, one hit wonders are those fractions of objects which tend to appear only once in the cache. So they analyze a lot of traces and their mean ratio of one hit wonders was somewhere around 26%. And they said that once the sequence is reduced to 10% of the unique objects in all the traces that they have analyzed, this one hit wonder ratio increases to 72%. So now, since this is one of the major issue, they, they, yeah. So continuing, so talking more about this observation. So what they say is a shorter sequence has a higher one hit ratio, one hit wonder ratio. How? So suppose if the sequence is from one to 17, the sequence length is considered in terms of objects, unique objects. So we have A, B, C, D, E five unique objects. If the start and the end time is like one to 17 frames, then the one hit, uh, wonder ratio that is one is one because E is appearing only once over here turns out to be around 20%. And if you reduce this sequence from one to 17, uh, one to seven, you have C and D appearing once while a and b appear more than once which means now the ratio increases to 50 percent and so on right so how to improve fifo efficiency the issue with fifo is that its inability to retain frequently access objects in the cache so straightforward improvement could be thought of why not insert the same objects back in the cache so this technique is known as FIFO reinsertion, which tracks object accesses and reinserts it during the eviction if they were frequently accessed. But is it sufficient? So their observation is that it's not sufficient 
and it still lags behind the state of the art algorithms in terms of efficiency. So what's the design that they came up with? So yeah. what they are saying is that they have three static FIFO queues, small, main, ghost. Main is the total. So main is the total cash. Like suppose it's X. So 10% of this will be the small and ghost will be <clears throat> equivalent to as big as main, but it will not contain the elements. It will just contain references to those elements. So what's a general insert looks like? So if it's not in ghost, insert to small. If the element that was being inserted was in ghost, you don't insert in small, you insert in the main cache, main queue. And what is the eviction looks like? So if you are evicting from small, if it is not visited, you insert it into the ghost queue. If it was visited, you insert it in the main queue. And what is the eviction in the main look like? So if it was visited, then you insert it back to the main queue or else you evict. So this is FIFO reinsertion for main applied to main queue. Going into more details about this algorithm. So a typical read comes in, you check if it is in the small queue or you check it is in the if it is in the main queue if it is there then you increase the frequency they keep a object access count capped at three count two bits for that otherwise it's not there so you insert you call the insert on that element okay and you make the frequency zero so the insert is insert on that element is if the cache is full, you can't insert. So you have to do eviction. We'll talk about eviction after we complete insert. So if X is there in the ghost queue, then you insert X directly to the head of the main queue. Otherwise you insert X to the head of the small queue. And what is the eviction looks like? If the size of the small queue size is more than the one point uh, like 10 percent of the actual main cache size main queue size then you evict from small otherwise you evict from main so the evic eviction from small is while the eviction while the element is not evicted and the size is greater than zero you in you get the get hold of the tail, tail element check its frequency if its frequency is greater than one you insert this element to the main queue because we want this element. If the main queue is full, then you evict from main. Else, because this frequency of that element was not uh, is was not much, so you insert it into the ghost queue, and you mark you set the eviction to true, and then re you remove this tail from the small queue as well how in how eviction from main queue works so while the eviction while the element is not this element flag is not set to true and the size of the main queue is greater than zero you take you take the tail of the main main queue you check its frequency if it is greater than zero you insert this tail back to the head of the main queue this is known as fifo reinsertion in the main queue you decrease its frequency because now it was evicted once and you are reinserting back. So decrease its value. Otherwise, you just remove that element from the main queue and mark as evicted true. So they say that what are the what so when does this algorithm doesn't perform well? So they say that when an object tends to be accessed twice. This is an adversarial workload for this S3 FIFO cache. What happens is that the second reference to the object leads to a cache miss. So yes, that's all from my side. It was a small paper. <laughs>